Dangerous business. Not as dangerous as he made it. He saved my life. Wear it well, friend. Did he have any family? Not his own. Three stray kids wandered down out of the lava beds. He took them in. Where are they? Just over that next rise, living in a mine shaft. Well, I think I'll go see them. As soon as we finished here with him, paid our respects. Pay your respects to the living, friend. He won't know. to take care of us. Why? Well, you, uh, the man who used to take care of you, well, he died while trying to save my life, you see. And, well, I, I just want to do anything I can to help. He could be a grandfather like the old time people. We don't have any. I'd like that. How do I know you will take us to a nice place? As dry as this. Well, I hope a lot better. But let me get you all straight first. Tell me something about yourself. What's your name? Running Fox is the best talker. I suppose you're a running fox. I am nine. Dull knife is seven and runny nose is six. Running nose? We ran out of names. It is hers till she dries up. <laughs> hey, <here>. blow. <laughs> Any of you ever been to school? There are no schools in the lava beds. Well, there's an Indian school nearby. What happens there? Well, you go to school, study, a lot of things happen. Do children play games? Sure they do. Are they warm? All the time. There we are, running nose. Is it true a woman does all the work? Yeah, well, I suppose you could say that. In a way, I, uh, most of it. They're called teachers. I don't know who the one is this year, but I'll take you to her. One thing must be understood. I am the head of the family. You are my helper. Grandfather. Father. And helper. Let's go in. <laughs> 
here for a change. Gray Squirrel. Where's Gray Squirrel? What's become of her? Oh, <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> um, no. Our morning song will be the ones you've all been working on so hard. It's an important part of your heritage. So let's see how many of you remember the words. <laughs> What do you want now, Curly? Oh, no go. No, Alec, you shall not take the children, not again. On the best. Speak English. Your house, your tongue. Our land needs our boys to bring in the squash. Squash? You disrupt my classroom for that? The white teacher would not know. But there were two rings around the moon. The snow will come before three sleeps. Oh, fables, superstitions under every rock in this wilderness. The poor Indian's good land was stolen. Now you wish to steal his fables. They are food, as is our squash. The boys stay here. If the squash in the corn is not brought in, Indian children will starve or freeze. The natives no longer have the buffalo and deer for food and skins. But the children need food for their minds as well as their bodies. Before three sleeps, the snows will come. Curly, stop mocking me. I know perfectly well you never talk that way in the cavalry. The white officers' ladies like those words. Very romantic, very Indian, very exciting. Ah, oh, Nuko. No, you don't understand. How can I teach these children if they're not even here? Curly, please. Not Curly. Trailing the enemy is my tribal name. Oh, trailing the enemy. Look, the supervisor's due to visit. Let the children stay at least till then. Teacher, are you thinking of our children or of you? Oh, that's not fair. Maybe the supervisor is the answer to both our problems. Maybe he will close the school once and for all. Yes, Mary. The first old time bird and animal people had no fire. So Tricud, the eagle, spoke to his son Limic, the prairie falcon. He saw light to the north where Weenus, first man, lives. Mary. Mary. Mary, no more fables. Do you understand? No more. Not ever. Good morning. 
Oh, good morning. You're the supervisor. Uh, please, 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 everybody. Uh, little squirrel, use your handkerchief. Huh? Uh, welcome to our little outpost. Oh, if you'd been here earlier, the attendance was excellent. The boys were here. I had such work planned for them, but today... I'm not the supervisor. No. No, ma'am. This is the second interruption this morning, and I am trying to teach. Just what is it that you want? Uh, schooling. For them. I, I came to enroll them. Enroll them? Three more problems? Why ask an overcrowded Indian school to take them? Where, when the boys are here, I've barely enough equipment. Not enough books, not enough slates, barely enough benches. Why not a white school? Or would your squaw object? There's no white school in the area, ma'am. Besides, I think my Modoc friends would be more comfortable with their own people. But Modocs are another tribe, another district. Let the other district take care of them. Let the supervisor, wherever he is, take care of them. I could bring extra benches. I... But I can't teach benches. I can't teach boys when they're not here now. Oh, it's impossible. Class dismissed. But it's not time Everyone, to go, go home. home. Go oh, home. Just tell them. Come. Lunch. Come. But... Home. I've made up my mind. I'm closing the school. Well, you can't do that. It's too important. I will close it, rather than have Curly, the supervisor, close it for me. At least it's my decision, whether wrong or other. Curly? You mean the one that used to be a cavalry scout? Oh, the fanatic. He takes my boys to collect squash. And who knows how long they'll be out this time. It isn't going to work. Uh, Ma'am. If I can get your boys back in the school, would you enroll my young friends out there? If you can. Can we go to school now? No, not right now. You have to get back to the ranch. Maybe school tomorrow. Sure, I miss. Yeah. Did you get the boat? No, the boat had been sold before I got there. Come here, kids. Johnny, I want you to meet a uh, running fox, dull knife, and this, for the moment, is running nose. Running nose. It's a nice name. Yourself and family back up in the hills. She said it. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can tell me. She said you're his father. Oh. <laughs> she said he's my father. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I always no other children? That, uh, that later. Hmm? No other children? No, this is uh, no small children. This is my son, Johnny. I have another son, Scott. He's around. Where is he? In a barn. See if they get a good big supper, Johnny. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Gotta go see a man about a school. You 
in charge? I am the head of the family. Oh, well, head of the family. What do you think you'd like for dinner? Steak and eggs? That sounds good. Except for her. She eats only acorns mashed. Acorn mashed? You mix it with water. Milk if you have it. Yeah, I know, but, uh... Well, this isn't the season for acorns. There are still some left at the top of the trees. Well, who's gonna climb the top of a tree at night? The head of the family never collects acorns. The white chief does us honor to come to a poor Indian's home. Curly, I want to Curly, come. that is a white man's name for a white man's Indian. There is no Curly here. Man's school today with the Modoc children. You've come to ask a favor, name it. I was at your school. The favor? Do your boys a favor. They'd be much better off back in school. By whose standards? What about your standards? Don't you want them to know anything about the world they're growing up in? I understand that world. That is enough. I will tell you about it. For five years, I lived in that world as a scout before I returned to my village on leave. An honored scout. I was back one day when my own cavalry unit raided my village, slashing and burning tents, killing men, women, and children for sheltering war parties. I lost the use of this arm to a saber I served. Others were taught a lesson they could not remember because they were dead. No more lessons. First, I could always get a court order forcing you to send the boys back. The white man's law medicine is very strong. But it would take many moons to get a court order from a circuit judge. Maybe by that time, the white man's school will have blown away like a dead leaf. When will the boys be back? When the squash is brought in. How many days? Uh, it depends on the harvest god. If he smiles, maybe four sleeps. If not... <laughs>
He's still sleeping. He must have had himself some day, huh? Yeah, well, I better wake him up. Let him know. How long have they been gone? I don't know. Maybe they, uh, saw the other school kids. You think they could have tried to get back? They, they took some blankets and quilts. I don't believe they'd steal it. What happened to you? Well, I fell out of an acorn tree. Out of an acorn tree? Yeah. Um, it's a long story. Use the day. All right. Have a good night's sleep. You were right. This is better than the mine shaft. Sure. What was wrong with my bedroom? Bed's too hard or something? All right, breakfast. Come on, let's get it. Come on, you fellas. After breakfast, you will take us to our school. Yes, I'm still working on that. And now I suppose you want me to unload them. You don't mind, Jelly? You know, preparing for my morning of teaching in the wilderness. Come in. I didn't see any boys arrive. Benches today. Hopefully boys tomorrow. Hope. <laughs> oh, uh, sit down. Sit on the bed. No other man has ever sat there. You can tell that to the supervisor if you wish when you tell him of this. You asked me once, now I'm going to ask you. What's your problem? <laughs> Teachers have no problem. Taking your strength from liquor to teach children? Highly appropriate for an honors graduate of Teachers College, is it? Would you believe I had my choice of assignments anywhere in the States? And I chose here. Lead the children out of the wilderness and ignorance into the light of the 19th century. Lead them or push them? Here, I brought you this. What's that? Indian legends. More fairy tales. They're of no use to me or to them. Well, try them. They might help. After all, these children have a tradition that they're proud of. Something they need. Why strip them of their heritage? Heritage? What good will a bunch of superstitions about rain dances and bird people do them in the real world? Superstition, our heritage, there is a difference. Suppose it all comes down to recognizing what it is. All finished. Mm. Oh, Jelly. What difference does it make anyway? There's no point in keeping the school open if the boys don't show up. Are you planning on getting them? Gonna try my best. All right. How are you going to get the boys? Tonight, I think we're going to have to give the harvest god a hand. Burke, why don't you get the boy with his wagon? If we don't get shot at, what's bringing in this harvest going to prove? 
Well, at least it'll take away Curly's argument about keeping the boys out of school. Trailing the enemy? Boss, don't be a fool. Shut up, Jack. Chief, what are you doing here? We've cleared your harvest. Now the boys can come back to school. Take the shaggy one and the others and get off this line. Not until you tell me that the boys will be in school tomorrow morning. The white Chief makes everything happen his way, almost. Well, let's just say I've helped the harvest god smile. Now it's up to you. I will not hold the boys back. Let them go where they will. Shaggy one. I don't see he had any call to get personal. Appreciative, uncivilized people. You've got no proof. Proof enough for me. I was right in the first place. When he took the boys, I should have closed down. I cannot teach them, not with him around. The Indian burns all hope for Indians. Oh, God, get me out of here. Forged in fire, it survived fire. The Indians would say it still has a heart. And a tongue. Until the school is rebuilt, the Lancer Ranch will be the school. We we'll drive the kids back and forth. Oh, it'll never work. Until the school is rebuilt, until the supervisor comes, until you leave. Many untils. But in the meantime, just teach.
Blueberry pie all over the place. Well, kids have to eat. Yeah, well, how did I get the job at Char Lady? You asked for it. Well, whoever listens to me. <laughs> you knocked off a little early, didn't you? Yeah. Children in the house, you know. I didn't have that with you and Scott being separated and all. It's kind of nice. Well, enjoy it. Oh, I intend to enjoy it. After all, I am grandfather to dull knife. I intend to be grandfather to many more. Yeah? Which ones? Well, that, Johnny, my boy. <laughs> it's up to you. From the earliest dawn of time, man has uh, progressed through many stages of development. In each stage, he learned to develop those abilities. In each stage, he learned and developed those abilities and talents that distinguished him from the animals. Who knows what distinguished means? Well, can anybody tell me the difference between a man and an animal? Can any of you name just one? Well, now, do you have any greater proof of why we should close the school? Well, Rebecca, these are white man's words for a white man's world. And they're thousands of years and thousands of miles away from them. Can you think of anything better? Oh, I don't know. It's better, but... Uh... It has been said that a long time ago, the bird and animal people got together for a big feast to talk about the making of a new kind of people. Trokud, the eagle, was head man. And after the feast, he said, all right, what are these people going to do when they come? What are we going to call them? Me here, the Indians. What kind of hands are they going to have? Asked Hokut the squirrel. Eagle answered, they're going to have hands like Kasha, little gray lizard. That would be no good, said Coyote. They'd better have hands like mine. When I see the field mouse go down his hole, I can dig him out and have a good feast right there. That is the best kind of hand to have. Well, Eagle answered that... Eagle answered, your hand is no good. Kiyu. Kiyu said, well, what's the matter with my hand? It's a good hand. And then the little gray lizard said, look here, Kiyu. See what I can do? And he picked up a stick with his hand. I don't have hands like a little gray lizard, do I? Well, in a way, we do. Hold your hand up. Open it. Close it. Flex it. Grasp. You see the special things that we can do that animals can't? But Tell me some... A weasel in his head and his habit. <laughs> his eyes and the ends of his restless nose were pink. He could scratch himself anywhere he pleased with any leg, front or back, that he chose to use. He could fluff up his tail till it looked like a bottle brush. The first bird and animal people had no fire. Kiyu the coyote said, I am tired of eating everything raw. We must cook our food. Where can we get fire? Prairie Falcon said, we nest. Hold up your slates and, and let me see them. Mm, very good. Now, who can tell me a word that starts with the letter E? Now, said the big Don't man. I. He was an Englishman who just moved into the bungalow. Don't frighten him and we'll see what he'll do. Even a knock on the door. 
What now? Winter wheat must be planted. It will take too long with just our hands. I take the children starting tomorrow. The boys, Mary, and the big girls who can work. I'll handle this, Rebecca. No, this is my responsibility, Murdoch. Oh. Now it is Murdoch and Rebecca. How fortunate is a white chief. Oh, you take every advantage and in front of the children too. Well, you shall not have them. I take them tomorrow. No, 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 no. Is this what you teach our children? Jelly, take the children home. Take them home, yes. But do not come for them in the morning. They're coming tomorrow. Four rings around the setting sun. The rains will come and bring life to the seeds. We start planting in the morning. I thought you'd try something like that, so I talked to the other ranchers. Now, the planting will be done the same as the harvesting. And we'll rebuild the school. You miss the point. It is not only the planting. No white man's school for me yet! Indians on Indian land. School here tomorrow. And we shall follow the example of the teacher and fight. You will fight me. That should please you. Maybe you can kill the troublesome redskin. And everyone will be happy in their white eye school. No, this is no way for two grown men to act. It's the only way. I can't fight you. Spare me being noble. Fight me with just one hand. Unless it is beneath you to make yourself equal to a red man. All right. This is how it'll be. If I lose children Stay. Swear to that with your signature. Tomorrow. No school. But our agreement. Don't tell the Indian about agreements. I do what is right for our young. 
Any white man who comes onto our land to take our children will be killed by me, as our people were killed. Curly! No, it's no use. Let him go. He won't respond to that name. He won't respond to anything. Well, it's all over. Rebecca Brown just fought her last battle in the Indian Wars. Here's finished. Mistaken or not. Murdoch Lancer was trying to direct my stumbling efforts to preserve your culture. He won't stop trying. Then he doesn't know. I was brought up in a wilderness. The wilderness of a coal mine. So I remember the cold the dirt and the grubbing. My father thought that we should work in the coal mines instead of going to school. Coal was fuel and food on the table. So you see, I understand. Your thinking is not so different. You were sensitive to the laughter of children. As time goes on, more children will laugh at you. And then they'll simply pass you by. The light is coming to the wilderness. Is that all? Yes, that's all. What are you doing here? I wish to speak with trailing the enemy. You have burned our school. Take these. One day this will all be different. I can write my name. teacher arrives. And this time we'll build it bigger. Land of 
Where's my little one? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, quiet. A, B, C, sir. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, R, P, Q, R, S, C, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh. <laughs> little Blossom. Will you please show Running Nose how to make a bee? Teacher. Teach me. Oh, trailing the enemy. Please sit down. Running nose. Please use your handkerchief. Who can tell me a word beginning with double? <laughs> Who can tell me a word that begins with W? Here. Uh, watching. Mm -hmm. 